So, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all to my presentation. So, my research topic is transcriptome analysis of the varicella zoster virus using a multi platform approach. But before we go any further, I would like to dissect this title a bit so you better understand what we are talking about. So, virtual zoster is a herpes virus. It belongs to the alpha herpes virus subfamily, uh, same as herpes simplex. And it causes a disease called chickenpox, which is mostly benign, but uh, it can cause some serious complications. The usual symptoms are uh, blisters and fever, and the serious complications are meningitis, encephalitis, uh, Guillain-Barré syndrome. The virus can stay dormant for a long time in the nervous system, and it can reactivate in later stages. This is called shingles, and it comes with very painful blisters. Uh, as you probably already know, transcription is the process of creating an RNA copy of a DNA sequence. But we want to examine the whole transcriptome. And just as a genome refers to all the genetic information uh, of an organism, transcriptome means uh, the set of all RNA transcripts of an organism. And multi-platform approach means that we are using both short-read sequencing and long-read sequencing technologies. Short-read sequencing, uh, we use Illumina platform, which uses amplified cDNA, and the signal is based on uh, fluorescent signals, fluorescent signals uh, emitted by the uh, nucleotide that are integrated uh, into the detection. In the case of long-read sequencing, we use a minion device, which uses a membrane and a nanopore uh, where a motor protein brings a DNA fragment through this nanopore, and then a detector detects the electrical signal in the difference of the potential of the two membranes. In the case of short-read sequencing, this is called short because the DNA fragments are 50 to 400 base pair longs. Long read is called long read because the DNA fragment can be any length. It can be even uh, multiple thousand base per long. Uh, but its disadvantage is that it uh, produces a lower uh, count of uh, transcripts. So the main aim of our study was to create the most accurate uh, transcript annotation for VZV. This includes intrant, transcript start sites, transcript end sites, coding and non-coding transcripts as well. And uh, I already mentioned the uh, word read in the long read sequencing and short read sequencing technologies. Read just refers to a fragment of DNA that is sequenced by our sequencing machine. So this is a simplified uh, workflow of our laboratory procedures. First, we have to infect our cells with the virus. And then we have to isolate the total RNA uh, from everything else. This RNA is consists of both the viruses and the infected cells uh, RNA. Then we execute some kind of library selection. Then we uh, turn our RNA into cDNA, reverse transcriptase, and with the help of PCR, we amplify this. Then we do the final sequencing with our Minion device. But to achieve our goal, we didn't only use our results, but also collected uh, eight different sequencing experiments from all around the world. Uh, and these are the ones here. Um, this meant all the uh, up-to-date uploaded long-read sequencing and short-read sequencing data from uh, a national, international gene bank. In this study, altogether, uh, we analyzed more than 2.5 billion reads. Uh, this is the main part of our study. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, with the help of bioinformatics, we can analyze uh, our sequence data. And the main steps are, uh, first of all, base calling, uh, which means that we interpret the signal strengths into a nucleotide sequence. Then uh, we do something called mapping, which means we separate the virus's transcript from the infected cell's transcript and we align these uh, virus transcripts into a reference genome. And finally, we obtain transcriptomic position with the help of different softwares. This includes uh, transcript end site position, transcript start site position, and interim positions. And for the handling and analysis, we use RStudio and Excel. So uh, what are our results? Uh, in the case of transcript start sites, uh, we had to choose different techniques because some of them are not uh, accurate. 
here you can see that uh, while some data provides uh, clear positions, other provide more of a group uh, which cannot be interpreted accurately. And this was the reason uh, we found that long read sequencing is the perfect candidate for uh, determining position in the case of transcript uh, start sites. This way, we have discovered 87 novel transcript start sites in VZV. And uh, I'm going to show a few examples of these. So yeah. uh, here, you can see the original transcript uh, going here. And this is the original transcript start site, which was already known. And here it is the new transcript start site, uh, which we have discovered. And this produces a longer transcript variant. This is the opposite of that. Here you can see uh, it goes into the other direction. This is the original transcript. And here is the one which produces a shorter variant. And we call it uh, implicit ORF because there is an internal ATG, so it's possibly a coding as well. And here it's more complex structure uh, because it, uh, it doesn't only produce short and long variant, but it's a complex uh, gene cluster that produces both coterminal and non-coterminal transcripts. But our main results are the new introns. So there is a method called direct RNA sequencing, which means that we don't turn our RNA into cDNA, but uh, sequence the RNA itself. Uh, it's a bit complicated, but uh, it allows us to have a more sensitive and accurate result. And uh, we use it as a gold standard. And previously, only four uh, VZV introns were known. And we had a previous study where we described nine. Other, and there was a study last year, uh, two years ago, which produced five more. Now, in this study, uh, with a very strict, strict criteria that an intern has to be present in 10 out of the total of 14 samples, uh, we found uh, 23 that was already described by as uncertain, which we could verify now, and 36 novel ones that have never been described before. And on this uh, graph, you can see a few examples of introns near each other in three different samples. And it's a sashimi plot. So uh, understanding how this uh, transcriptome works can provide us uh, with solving problems that are still existing in this case of, uh, in this pathogen. So for example, shingles is still, still a problem. And a fusion transcript that was described by us, uh, the VLT or F63, was investigated by another research group that found that it plays a major role in reactivation of the virus. And uh, we see the future of this project in exploring whether these new transcripts are uh, coding or non-coding. And ribosome profiling is a good tool for detecting that. And also, there are some interesting phenomena that some introns seem to be technology specific, which means that one uh, sequencing technology can find them in very high abundance, but another one completely misses it and we want to find out why it is. I would like you, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, please stay, because we are going to give you the diploma for the presentation you gave today, and I wish you a very successful work for your future career. <laughs>